When people say the Norfolk Broads, this is what springs to mind, isn't it? The boats, the big Norfolk skies. But for most holiday makers and staycationers, the Norfolk Broads is a summer place. And yet, for people who love bird watching, wildlife, fishing, just walking, and certainly for people who have holiday homes with the Ting Din lifestyle in East Anglia, the Broads have got something to offer all year round. But here's the thing, what exactly is this area that we call Broadland? In a way, the mills are very much part of the answer. They're often wind pumps used to drain the land and pumps and drainage are an important part of the story. Because the fact is, this area is not what it first appears to be. The reality is, the Norfolk Broads are man-made. It wasn't finally proven until the 1950s, but the fact is the Norfolk Broads are the result of medieval peat diggings becoming flooded when the sea levels rose. They lay dormant for decades. They were revitalised by the Victorians and Edwardians. They came into their own after World War II, and by the 1960s, they were thriving. Now, the Broads are a great example of somewhere that you can run away to without the need for a runway. You don't need the hassle of airports and flights to find something beautiful abroad when you've got the Broads right here in the UK. The Norfolk Broads cover over 300 square kilometres of wetland and they boast over a quarter of the UK's rarest species. Sailing, walking, bird watching, whatever you've been doing, there comes a time for food and drink. And Broadland has plenty to offer. The Pleasure Boat Inn here on Historic Hickling Broad is a great example of a Norfolk Broads pub and restaurant. It's not difficult to see why the Broad's all year round appeal is spreading to more and more people, or indeed why more and more people are investing in holiday homes here. People seem to be changing their attitudes when it comes to holidays and life in general. In uncertain times, we want less pressure, less hassle, and a more settled, a more mindful approach to our leisure time. Investing in a holiday home in an area like this ticks a lot of boxes. There's the security of the investment, there's the extra income, but there's the peacefulness, somewhere to share with your family, which is so important to your well-being. And of course, it's there for you all year round. Worth serious consideration, don't you think? <laughs>